At this rate, I'm not gonna have enough money to sleep for the night. For tomorrow night. Rip Sophie. It should have been Capra. Can we see the photo anywhere? I guess not. Well, we're all the way there now. Wait, what? Oh no! What happened to Sam? His rating went down a lot. Maybe he couldn't pay? Anthony Colton. Five out of five. But he, he looks a little bit like Merrick. Kind of suspicious of him. I want to see more separate stories, but I also want to continue the story threads we have now. So Sam is someone I'm kind of curious about. I don't know. Let's get some gas to begin with. Going a little bit out of my way again. Don't wear heels when you're driving. Let me in. Okay. Stands machine. Uh, I have three rides per night. So if I really wanna... Mm, if I wanna go to Stan's machine, I can still do it later on, hopefully. Sam? Uh, if I'm looking to make money, maybe I shouldn't be going to the guy who I know has money problems. <laughs> maybe I'll have to be giving free rides again. Whatever. I pulled up to the pin. What was Sam doing around Kinfolk? What was he doing around Kinfolk? The fences around this place were even higher than Los Ojo's pen. He was carrying a moving box and talking with a guy I could barely see. Guess that was Lucas? Who's Lucas? Maybe this was some kind of rehab jobs program. Still, I was glad to see Sam out and about. A moving company wasn't the same thing as a dream bakery, but hey, it was a job. I hope he'd been able to scrounge up some cash for that special mixer. Hey there! Know where I can get a good cookie around here? No. Uh-oh. Maybe his plan wasn't going so well. Oh! Oh, Lucas... Luke Howard, was it? This was another guy that we never gave a ride to, but he was on the map, right? The Neo Prime guy. Neo Cap Prime? Oh my god, wh what's going on here? God damn, people still get into these death traps? <sighs> Great. My paying Pax was an asshole, and he was drunk. Here, dude, let me at least hold the box for you. Oh, thanks, but I got it. There was an unmistakable sound of rattling glass and an eerie music box melody plinked from inside. Sounded like Sam's job wasn't going so great. Is that the music box melody? Does she know where to go? Wait. Wait, so what's going on here? Is Sam working for Luke Howard? And he's kind of his lackey now, so that's why Sam was the one placing the request for a cab? Is that what's going on? Well then in that case, I don't have to care about him, right? Because he's not my customer here. But Sam seems to be pretty on edge. If I say, how have you been, Sam? I think that'll be kind of setting him... This guy off. This... Uh, we can't talk freely right now. She does. And you realize she can actually hear you, right? Ha! <laughs> Love it. They should totally program some sass variants into our AI. Give him that human touch. He tapped away on his phone, and I spotted a huge Capra sticker on the case. Figured. Wait, then why is he a Neocab Prime guy? How's your night going, Lena? Uh, this is kind of angry, right? Oh, you know, never a dull moment. Yours? The glass rattled again with a broken warble. 
Hmm, he didn't reply. Um, he's the one who asked me how I am so far, so I kind of... Mm, I don't know. Not a free chit chat. Got it. We've seen Sam before, and he was really talkative and nice, so I, I'm pretty sure he's only not talking to me right now because this guy's here. His night's been shitty, and that's my fault. It's nobody's fault, but I really appreciate what you're doing for me here. Dude! Dude! It's the least I could do. Oh? Okay, this guy's a nice guy? I can't believe I broke Cassie's fucking music box! And Cassie! Cassie! Oh my god, did you find her? Wait, you know about Cassie too? Is your up spying on me or something? <sighs> Look, I'm just trying to talk to Sam. Logan! What, what do you mean, Logan? <laughs> Cassie is still missing. Hey, this guy has a... Wasn't this guy named Luke Howard? But it says L. Anderson here. Lucas Anderson? His voice was so miserable that even drunky Capraface kept quiet. Hang on, Aunt Cassie was missing? Didn't he find her new place? So, driver, I'm gonna tell you what happened tonight. I'm really angry already. And you tell me how I can make it right with our friend here. No, no, really, it's fine. No, Cassie was your daughter, dude! Oh. I mean, she is. She still is, man. Something felt off here. Uh... We don't have to call him out right now. What happened tonight? It's not easy to talk about. I was just bringing this music box home from getting its annual cleaning and unfortunately, there was an accident. Yeah, I was totally smashed and I totally smashed it. Uh, don't say and. That's awful, I'm so sorry. Thanks, it was just an accident. Don't you worry, driver. This guy's not getting home until I make things right. I could smell the whiskey on his breath, and I had to stop myself from gagging. I get it. You're not gonna tell me how much a thing's worth. But I still wanna throw some money your way to help out your daughter, you know? You think 180 coin is enough? Ah, uh, this guy's rich, and he throws money around to silence you. They both went quiet. And my head spun. Since when did Sam have a daughter? Something was up. Mmm, I don't want to... Like, if it's just me and him, I want to talk more. But with this guy here, clearly there's a lot of things we don't want to talk about in front of him. I want to trust Sam because he was really nice last time, even though he does have a dodgy history. But, you know, he's already served his sentence, so I don't want to, like constantly discriminate against him, even though he was in prison and whatever. Hey, what happened to all that cookie talk? Watch out! What? What is it? I thought I saw a deer. No, he was trying to distract the guy on purpose. A deer? Yeah. In the urban city? <laughs> They're out there. Hmm, that's one way to change the subject. I wondered what would happen if I asked him about his time in the Lost Ojo's pen. Would he have a sudden sneezing fit? Perform some magic tricks? It's true, I saw one once. This guy's kind of drunk, right? At the farmer's market on... Did he just fall asleep? For the moment. You don't want to know how many whiskey bombs he downed earlier. I needed to know what was up, but I didn't want to wake Sleeping Beauty. Whatever you say, Sam. Look, please don't tell him anything. I'll explain everything when you drop him off. 
Great. I've been conned by a story about cookies. Until I knew more, it was best to just stay quiet and keep an eye on Sam. Let's just not talk then. Hmm. Trying to think about why his rating dropped between last time and this time. He's a 3 star now, so he made some people very angry. Is it just a money issue? Maybe it's not, judging by what we're seeing here. I feel like I'm gonna get a migraine any second now. <sighs> Are we there yet? If I wasn't in trouble, we got a ticket in a company car, but no. <sighs> now I gotta help this guy out before I get a little too tipsy whipsy. Gosh, people are just too nice in the city. <laughs> How much was he angling to get out of this Capra clown? Look, I appreciate you making sure I get home okay, but it's not necessary. I know it was an accident, so let's just call it even. He's not even harping on about how he wanted to give him 180 coins, so I don't think it's a money thing. We just want to get rid of him. No way, dude! I told you I'd make it right. Well... Sam's voice cracked, and for a second, I almost felt for him. What if you made a donation to the Foundation in her name? Buddy... Yes! How? I have my phone set up to take donations. <sighs> there it was. A mugging was happening in my car. Oh my god. The victim just didn't know it yet. <gasps> oh, are you really telling me the 10 coin I gave him before? He tricked me? I had to laugh. Ha! <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Just a billboard we drove by. Sam handed his phone over as Luke stared into space. Just scan your coin code and put in the amount. Wow, this guy really had no idea that he was about to rob himself. Okay, that's what we're assuming right now. Is it too naive for me to think that there might still be something that's explainable here? I don't know. can ask about it. How much are you donating? Why, do you want to match it? You totally should. Oh, that's really not necessary. Yeah, he's not wanting me to be involved in this. I feel like there's something more. Or I want to believe there's something more. It most definitely was not. No way was I letting Sam near my money. Never mind. What difference did any of it make? This Capra shell would wake up tomorrow thinking he'd helped some bereaved father and saved a few dolphins while he was at it. Unless he ran into Sam Logan again. Oh, he told him his name was Logan. Are you kidding me? Like I did. He'd never even know he was robbed. I pulled up to the drop-off, which, for all I knew, may have actually been Sam's house. I'll get out here too. Kinda need to walk it off, if you know what I mean. I can't thank you enough for your kindness, if Cassie were here. He actually choked up as he said this. I wonder what he thought of to make the tears real. Had there ever been a Cassie, aunt or daughter, in his heart? She will be, buddy. I know it. He hopped out of the car with a hiccup. The smell of whiskey lingered. Now, it was just me and Sam, alone again. Okay, if he really is a con artist, we still have to be careful about what we say because of our rating. Ah, oh, I hate this. It's like working retail. I flipped the locks so I could pin him down. It's a little bit dangerous and really not such a good idea to be doing, especially when you're just like a woman alone at night with some strange man. But I will because video games. 
I wanted answers. Look, I know I messed up. Let me give you some of this money. 60 coin? I don't want your stolen money. You know, it's video games, so even though we're broke, and we need a home, and we need money, we can be principled. Because dignity and integrity and all those good video game moral things. <laughs> I just want to know why I shouldn't turn you in. Turn me in? For what? Lying so well that people believe me? If that were a crime, we wouldn't have any government left to enforce it. Is that how you sleep at night? I sleep as well as anyone in Los Ojos. It's like the fact that health code says a certain number of insect parts are allowed in our food. Is that what you are? Insect parts? You're making your case by comparing yourself to roach legs? No, I'm saying we all probably eat a toddler's weight in roach legs in our lifetimes. What's the harm in letting people think they're just chocolate sprinkles? Oh, this guy. With that little gem, he hopped out and walked right past the place where we'd stopped, disappearing into the shadows between the houses. <sighs> I took a breath and noticed the telltale flickering of screens inside most of the windows. Whatever story got you through the days, I guess. Now what's he gonna give me, I wonder. I didn't rat him out, I didn't take his money. Wow! You think you're better than me? At least I keep my tick at the end of the day. Neocap scams you worse than I ever did. Oh my god. And all I got to show for it was five bucks. Five bucks. Wait, did it say I have 87 bucks right now? When did I get that much? And why are the cops on me again? What did I do? What? I didn't violate anything today. Roadblock. <sighs> LOPD, again. What was it this time? I pulled over, hands on wheels, eyes up, deep breaths. We've had some compelling reports about neocabs on the road tonight. What have I done wrong? One moment, Miss Romero. He turned away, but I could hear him speaking in a hushed tone. Oh, he's getting ready to frame me. On every channel, this one must have pissed off the wrong people. We'll get the word out. How much was this gonna cost me? No, 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 no. It couldn't be her. His visor. <gasps> what? I sat up straighter, try to keep my expression blank. Try to hide, even the slightest hint of recognition. But it didn't matter. There she was, her face on every screen, bathing the city in a blood-red glow. Fraud? Trespassing? What? Savy. Oh no! See, we can't hide anything because of this stupid freaking mood ring! What have you done? Ma'am? Uh... Don't overly explain yourself, okay? <laughs> anything else, officer? He didn't even ask you, so why would you ask, hey, who is that? <laughs> You're in a hurry to get somewhere, aren't you? Well, aren't we all? Just watch your speed out there. You're not a Capra. And look, I'm legally obligated to ask you this. 
Have you seen the individual picture on this bulletin? Hmm. I didn't trust my voice not to shake. Oh. I shook my head. You probably see so many faces, you can't even remember them all, right? I managed a weak laugh. Well, report any sightings of this criminal right away. That'll be all. Drive safely, ma'am. Okay. Oh god, I thought he was gonna get my money again today. He was talking about how this should be broadcasted on every channel, too. What the... Savy... Savy was wanted, and I just lied to the LOPD. This couldn't be happening. Somewhere in the city was Savy's apartment, with the extra room all set up for me, and the bricks of sage incense squirreled away in every closet. So the good thing is, we don't even know her address, and we have her phone, but it's dead. So they can't really get me for anything. I did lie about knowing her, but they can't prove it. If I delete all the texts I got from her, they wouldn't know. Would I ever see that place? Would I ever see her again? Liam. Oh, Liam, I really need a buddy right now. Oh, God. Hey, Lena, it's Liam. Hey, Liam. The good thing about texts is that it can hide your emotions. You can't tell from this that I'm really sad right now. How are things going on your end? Somewhere between eesh and yikes. Well, I hope it's closer to eesh? Reason I'm testing is I just met pretty much the coolest person, a quantum witch. Una, the statistician? Statistics? We talking about the same Una? This lady is a straight-up science witch. Oh, she says she knows you too, Law. What are the odds? I think that's more for Una to say. How many timelines are out there where we don't know her? Where we've never met her? Right? We've been talking all night about random things that aren't really random, and the difference between impossible and probable, and also zombie cats. Anyways, Una says hi. Gonna go check out the spot? Ramming Getty now. Have a good one. You too. <sighs> Liam might be my only friend here. He seems like, oh, I can't trust people anymore, man, with Sam and all. <sighs> Why was I such an idiot? Liam and Una. Now there was a match made in Quantum Heaven. I had no idea how I could help fix the timeline. I just wanted to fix my own life at the moment. At least, I was making a name for myself in this town, one Quantum Witch at a time. It was well after midnight, and I met my ride quota. I checked my field grid, blue. I had it in me to push on for one more uh, you know, I think we should call it an early night tonight. Just because we're feeling kind of sad. And I have more money than I thought I did. I called it an early night. Live to fight another day, right? Although I don't like going to bed sad. I only had two rides today. Yeah, well, you can't work every day, okay? Like, working every single day to the bone is not good for you. Mentally, and all. I didn't take his money. Did he give it to me anyway? Kinda curious. Oh, Sam gave me the 60 coin anyway, even though I said I don't want your stolen money. Uh, can't say I'm not thankful for that because we were running quite low on money. Without this, we'd have... 27 bucks? Still enough for one more night though, so it's like, oh my god, look at my history. Oh my gosh. Rip Sophie. It should have been Capra. Oh dear. Oh dear. What is this line, by the way? Like, what is that line? 
Is that how we came into the city initially? Because I think we were kind of up here, right? Or something. Oh dear. Well, we have a bit of money. You want to try the Airbnb? Although it's a little far. <laughs> Louisa's home. My little corner of Los Ojos. I can offer you privacy, comfort, green tea, no judgment, and a world-class bed. My brother is a mattress designer. <sighs> Let's splurge a little bit. I gotta heal my soul. Oh, damn. Todos son bienvenidos aquí. Today, something welcome here? It was a stretch to afford Louisa's place, but when she showed me my bed, my bed, all my concerns were melted away. Smart gel foam latex hybrid mattress, anatomical springs, thermal regulated duvet, silent buckwheat, hull pillows. Could this be real? I couldn't help it. Tears welled up in my eyes. Louisa squeezed my shoulder, then came back with a mug of green tea. For me. Long day? She asked. Do you want to talk? No, let's, let's talk. We get passengers, and we can talk to them. But those people... We have a relationship, right? They're the client. I'm the... Contractor, so it's not like a carefree relationship. I still gotta watch what I say, gotta care about my rating, but this person... Well, she's taking my money, so it's not like a completely neutral relationship either, but... Better than having a customer in a car. Yeah. So we did. About Sabi, about all of it. And she listened. Every sentence made me feel lighter. Like all of my troubles were bouncing away on thermal regulated buckwheat springs. Then I slept, clean and dreamless, and I woke up the instant the alarm went off. I felt more than relaxed or rested. I felt like I just scored the winning point and landed the jump and nailed the high note all at once. What a mattress. I got back in the car. At least we're starting off the day nicely. I felt rested, but a bit groggy. Like my mind was wrapped in a synth felt blanket. At least my feel grid was chilling in the green. Five nights. Five nights since my best friend became a fugitive and left me to fend for myself in Automation City. But the city felt different tonight. I couldn't put my finger on it. There was this... energy in the air. The voting! We didn't get to talk to us all. Um, but the voting should be happening today, right? Attention. Static building up. Stuck in the protest madness. Can I get a rescue? The Radix action. Azul's weird warnings made sense now. Trapped in protests, getting scary, can you get me? Ali too? What was she doing at an anti-cap event? My phone pinged again, what was going on? Oh, the one night I didn't fill up my energy. This ain't good. <gasps> Wait, from her actual phone? We know it's her? <sighs> this is super urgent actually. Are you in your car? My friends need a neocab, now! This Sophie's protest is a fucking mess! Everyone within five blocks is getting gassed! Open your app. Do you see Jace? He needs to get out. Uh, I have a lot of friends and I don't even know Jace. Another friend of mine- Oh my god, she's not gonna be- ah! She never even explained to me that Jace was her boyfriend. She never said that, okay? We found that out from Azul, and just situationally. I like Savi enough, but I'm kind of upset at her for like leaving me in the dark and like, oh, my other friends who I actually know need my help. Oh, no, 
I can't do this. I gotta... And I got two friends, too. Oh, frick. Well, we'll just say it first. Let's see what she says. Another friend of mine needs help. Can you all get in the same car? I'm sure they'll be fine. Lena, please just get him now. We can meet up after. Soon. I can't promise anything. Okay, I'm, I'm giving her a lot of leniency because she's supposedly my best friend, but I don't like how she's been basically pushing me around this whole time. I don't like this either. Like, this is clearly just trying to butter me up. Les Rouge? Oh, they're all at the protest. Jace. Salvatelle. Allie. Liam. I love both Allie and Liam. This is really difficult for me. I need to get some gas either way, though. At a really cheap place, maybe? Yikes, a little low. Get a full charge. Oh... For information purposes, getting Jace might be the best plan here. But like, I don't know, I don't like being left in the dark and I kind of feel really salty about Sam, what Sam did to me yesterday. And this whole time, I kept thinking that he had an excuse too, but he... Oh, we were too gullible. Oh, I'm so relaxed today too, they're really screwing everything up for me. Jace. Oh, okay, okay. Jace is two star though, he's not... Beatmaker, trans DJ, activist. Not necessarily in that order. He's anti-car, but he's getting into my car? Ah, I don't want to give up on Liam and Ali either. Oh, fine. Fine. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. The streets flash red and blue with the lights of LOPD cruisers. Broken glass and trampled cardboard signs litter the sidewalks. Driving past, I caught only hints of words on the protest signs. Cars, blood, Capra. A pair of cops shoved a screaming protester into a car as others herded stragglers away from the scene. However bad this had gotten, it looked like things were coming to an end. What kind of end? But I didn't see him. I couldn't get very close. At that point, the LOPD had cordoned off all the access roads. I scanned the crowds, peered down alleys. Then he cancelled the ride. No message. His pin just vanished off the map. <sighs> what are you playing at now? Whatever. I hoped he was okay. You know, keep chill, keep chill. Stressing out only makes us more stressed out, and then even more stressed out. Maybe he found some other way out of the madness. I pictured him, sitting on Azul's handlebars as they pedaled through clouds of tear gas. Protests and tear gas, huh? There went my chance to get info on whatever was going on with Savy, too. I checked the app to see if Liam or Ali still needed a ride. The map was empty. Oh my god. I felt like crying, but I knew if I started, I might never stop. Not with all that I had weighing on my mind. If I couldn't even help one of the few friends I had in this town, what good was it for me to even be here? Oh, I couldn't help a single person. The only thing I could do was hope I'd be able to help Savy wherever she was. Liam, Ali. Oh, but you know. Oh. Driver never showed up with five stars in solidarity. Thanks, I guess. Deactivation risk second warning. I gotta get back to a four. How many warnings do I get? Three? Holy crap. Jace. I thought we'd be able to see him. No corporate state. No on Sophie. 
band Crapra. Maybe if I had spoken to Azul the day before, then Jace would have shown up? I'm not sure. Not really sure how different the pickups can get. I'm really sorry though, Ali, Liam, Anthony Colton, Fiona Pack. We gotta earn some money. Gideon the Kalb. All these people are four stars or above. If we're lucky, should be okay. If we look at energy, kind of curious about the people who don't put their faces on the icon. Because then what do they look like? We don't know. Um, Liam and Ali. Oh, we gotta move on. Let's go to Gideon, the Kalb. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. A valet in a tux shot me a look as I pulled outside the grand bow art pillars of the Elo Babylon. Really? Someone at this place rode Neocab? Who? The fogies in formal wear and pearls laughing in the lobby? Then I saw her, a short figure with the bulk of a boxer, stalking down the red carpet towards me. The cameras went wild for her, their flashes reflected in hard metal skin. She screamed back into the blaze and flipped them the bird. Lights of pink neon dotted her spine. What was she? <laughs> Please let her be a robot. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. You look like an Overwatch character. The only way I'm going to another pig fundraiser is if it's for like an actual pig. Definitely not a robot, but she couldn't have been more than maybe 13? Gideon? You're not gonna catch me dead at a charity ball for cops ever again. Same. You know, if it's kids, you can't be like, how old are you, kid? To start off with, you gotta like build rapport first. They're the worst. Oh. Hi, C. You're making fun of me. No, no, I wasn't. I actually wasn't. Whatever. Who was this kid? Famous? Super rich? Should I be calling her ma'am? She came out of the hotel, right? Like the fancy Babylon place? Rough night, ma'am? Don't call me ma'am, oh my god! What are you even trying to do to me? Yikes. So, why were you at a charity ball for cops? Okay, technically, it wasn't for cops, but they were hosting it or whatever. Oh, that's the thing that the guy told me to donate to, the 20 bucks. Just one more corrupt cog in the machine to pass Sophie's law. Oh shit, I'm really sorry to bring up Sophie's law to you. Don't worry, I absolutely do not support it. Uh, let her talk about it at her own pace. <laughs> is that like a fancy- I don't even know what that is. I've never picked anyone up from that hotel before. You go to the Babylon often? Hell no. Only when my mom needs me for a Sophie's Law photo op. Okay, wait. Sophie's Law says we should ban manual cars. So how is that relevant to your suit? Why don't you tell me? Wait, what's your mom have to do with Sophie's Law? Oh god, sorry in advance. So Capra wants to own everything and everyone, right? Anywhere we go, anything we say, they want it all. Sophie's Law gets the most of the way there. It outlaws human drivers within Los Ojos, auto cars only. You know, to keep us safe. I'm aware of it. Oh yeah, of course you are. Anyway, my fascist mother's pushing it hard. Your fascist mother? The referendum is up for a vote any day now. She set up a fake charity to hide all the political donations. Anyway, 
I went and she introduced me to the chief of police. And he was like, oh, nice to meet you. And I said, fuck off, white supremacist. <laughs> Did you really say that? Hell yeah. He's a rebel. <laughs> Yancy tried to pull me away, but you know, look at what I'm wearing. Then she said I was embarrassing her, so I left. It's true though. Did you know that institutions can be racist? <sighs> Sorry, of course you do. I don't have to tell you how bad the LOPD is for people of color. Uh... <laughs> I let that one go. In our time here so far, I don't feel like anyone's explicitly been racist to me because of my skin color, but... I mean, no one ever said, hey, you person of color, I'm being racist to you right now. But you never know, right, what people are really thinking inside. It's very fascist. So you're against everything your mom stands for. Well, she's a teen, of course. Was she a bit controlling as a parent? Totally. Wait, how'd you know? T Lucky guess. So, what's with the get-up? Of course you couldn't just not mention it. Okay, so this is a kinder mech. Kinder? Like kindergarten? Like for kids? Like, it's German, right? It's the Michelle model, which they make specially for girls. Yancy would want you to know that it's the slimline model. Yeah. I think Los Ojos has several things that are like influenced by Spanish stuff, but also German stuff, right? Because in a futuristic cyberpunk city, it's like an amalgamation of a lot of different cultures and languages. I can't even talk about that. No, Yancy is like her maid or something. I've never heard of a kinder mech. I'm not surprised. It's super expensive. I mean, oh, she's making fun of me because she said she thinks that because I'm poor, I wouldn't have heard of it. I actually am on the poverty line. <laughs> I had nothing to say to that. Yancy put me in this when I was four, after I got hit by the car. Oh, okay. But I was fine after the surgery. She totally overreacted. What, is that actually her mom? But she got it, so if it happened again... Like that happens to anybody twice... I wouldn't even feel it. Can you take it off? Not until I'm 18. Oh, wow. So that's why Sophie's Law kind of relates to her, because it's saying cars are bad. See? If Sophie had this mech suit, she wouldn't have died. Don't you know? That's when you're officially old enough to make your own decisions, apparently. That's awful. It's torture! She always knows where I am. She can check in whenever she wants. There's a camera in here. She can see what I'm looking at. I tried to pierce my ears once, and my arms locked in place. What? I even tried to put this fuck fascism sticker on. And it peeled right off the chassis. There was a content filter. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, I worry about the fascist thing too, but I also wonder about the sleep thing. <laughs> You're pretty worried about fascists for a 13-year-old. Wait, we never confirmed she's 13. What? Are you not? And I'm not 13, by the way. I'm 14. Oh, thanks for the clarification. <laughs> How do you even know what a fascist is? Try growing up with a woman who makes you use a different fork for each course. I'm joking! I know my shit. You wanna test me on my activism? Go ahead, you'll lose. You must be able to take it off to sleep, at least. 
No! What? That's horrible. I can't take it off! Ever! It's so unfair! Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty extreme. How do you sleep with that thing on? Oh my gosh, there's not even a pillow there. Right? Why doesn't anyone else see that? Where do you live anyway? You'll see it. You can't miss it. Go, because she's super rich, so it's probably like a mansion or something. Over the last few minutes, the streets had gotten cleaner, the buildings around us had gotten taller, and the people? Actually, there wasn't a soul in sight. <sighs> this is me. We pulled up to a high rise with a titanium gate etched with the lions. Hey, Athena, open gate. The lights on our suit pulsed and the gate creaked open. What's with the lions? <sighs> oh, look at this. I just got a message from Yancey. Thank you at least for going home and not to your aunts or god knows where. We'll talk in the morning. In the meantime... Think about your political opinions. You'll be more persuasive using reason arguments. Rather than obscene outbursts. <sighs> what bullshit. It's bullshit, right? Hmm... Your mom does have a point. If you want to convince people, you continually yelling at how, oh my god, everyone's a fascist, is probably not the most convincing way to do it. Will she listen to me, though? If I say stay angry, that sounds pretty sarcastic, too. Your mom kind of has a point. Not this one. Your right to be angry. This too. You know, we don't want to piss off the cops because they've got weapons and they're not afraid to use it. You're right to be angry, but you can't always fly off the handle. I'm sure your family didn't become powerful by burning bridges. Oh, come on! Be polite, whatever. Do you think, like, a soldier wins wars by being polite? That's what you are? That's what I am! God! Of all people, I thought you'd get it! If we stay quiet and Sophie's law passes, you'll have no job, you know? Um... <laughs> it's very, very timely and relevant to the world. World events that you're asking me about, you know, you're talking to me about protests and people being angry. And is it right to be aggressive? Or do you always have to be passive and pacifistic to get your point across? At this current moment, I will tell you that I believe there is a time and place to be aggressive, and sometimes that is the way to get things done. Maybe she had a point. I just... Oh, never mind. She waited a moment to leave, then jumped out like a flash. Kid, give me a good rating. As I watched her near the arch double doors, I got the awful sense that it was the suit that was doing the walking, not her. How are her muscles not like a trophy or something? Oh my gosh. I waited to make sure she got inside okay, as if anything could hurt her. She looked back at me before the gate slammed shut. At least, I think she did. It happened so quickly. Come on, kid. Give me a three at least. Wow. Doesn't get it at all. Maybe I should have been a bit more aggressive. I don't know. I did agree with her on principle, but she was so angry. But you know why she's angry, though. Like, there's a reason why she is. Deactivation risk. You have three rides left to bring your rating above four stars. Pro tip, get to know your packs. It's all about, like, trying to match your Pax's mood to yours. Some people will like you being a yes-man, 
Some people will like you challenging them. This little lady very obviously wanted someone to understand her, and unfortunately, I couldn't do it to the fullest.